Now, where you're at now is a very interesting situation because John is in exile. No one knows what's going to happen in terms of how long he's going to be suspended. DC is now fighting Stipe Miocic for the heavyweight title, and who knows what's happening there. I mean, that does that bother you? Because it seems like it kind of like puts the 205 title in limbo. It does. Yeah. It does. I, I didn't see that coming at all. This is Stipe fight at all. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a great fight for, for them and for the fans and for the sport. But you know, for us standing in, standing in line, we just you know we just sitting there on our, on our like we just sitting there and waiting for for an opportunity and it's not gonna come. It's not gonna be there. So, you know, and 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 uh, you, you know, I, I w that, that's also a thing that's been motivating me a lot because. Uh, after the fight with Glove, I got injured and, and all that, and, and I was really looking forward to come back and, and, and make, make a really strong uh, performance, you know, a very strong next performance. I just really wanted to, I, I had my eyes on that goal, and, and, uh, and then they, they made, I actually counted almost, uh, f you know, fighting DC, but then, then it was all gone by him going up the step. So, so it's. It's a crazy situation. The, the whole division is, is it's just crazy right now. Yeah, it really is because that fight is not even going to take place until July. So here we are in April, May, June, July. We have three months till that fight takes place. I know. So that fight and then obviously at least three months, most likely more, before the title could be challenged again. So that's... We don't even know if it's coming if it comes back again. Right, he might Who not. Who knows what happens in that fight. Plus, and once he gets used to eating again... Like you know, it's DC, gonna be tough DC wins. I, 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 I see it in pictures now. I, you know, I'm gonna meet him a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks a little bit, you know, heavy right now. Well, he was uh, on TV the other day eating potato chips. Yeah, like, I saw man, that. you're yeah, in I camp. Saw that. That's <laughs> what the fuck you eating? No, he loved yeah. that. Yeah, he loves food. That's yeah. for sure. I mean, and uh, I, you know, you look back at his performance in Strike Force as a heavyweight, and it was phenomenal. He did good. Phenomenal. Yeah. He didn't lose. No, he didn't lose at heavyweight, and <laughs> he's and good tossed around gorillas like yeah. josh barnett yeah. yeah lift him up like nothing crazy right it's, you know th this fight against tippy it's uh you know if it would be another i guess another heavyweight i'll probably say tippy was going to win this fight but dc is like you said he's he's a really good heavyweight so who knows what happens well his wrestling is just so next level yeah it's such a it's an interesting position because Stipe is a very good wrestler but of course is. DC's world class he's world class and he he doesn't take one step back man he just comes at you yeah he's be he's just in your face you know it's but it's tough to count out Stipe too because Stipe is the pound for pound consensus best heavyweight ever I mean the guy yeah. has defended the title more than anybody you yeah. look at his resume it's impeccable yeah. knocks out uh, Junior Dos Santos knocks out Overeem, uh, beats Francis Ngannou, who's everybody's scared of. I mean, uh, no, he's a badass. He's a badass. Yeah. So you know, but DC, it's he's such a competitive guy. You know, yeah. he, he doesn't he doesn't want he doesn't take a step back and he just goes for it. Even if even in a tough situation, he just he just eats it and comes back and do what he does always. And for for being a fat guy. <laughs> that guy, that guy he's works. Get, he's screaming at you right now. Hey, man, settle down. No, no, but that guy is is doing five rounds like nothing. Yeah. So the conditioning is is on top. Yeah, he just eats the wrong food. Yeah, that's all that's what it he is. Does, yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe some of it's genetic. I just think he's just <laughs> eating the wrong food. I mean, there's evidence. He, has he was eating he's potato short, chips. Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's evidence. It's not like I'm just talking out of my ass. I've seen him eat the wrong food. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. too. But yeah, yes. nothing but respect for that guy. He's an awesome human being too. Yeah, yeah he's a great is just guy. He's a, a great fantastic guy. guy. Have you ever thought about fighting heavyweight? It crossed my mind from time to time, but I, I feel I'm 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 not done with and I'm not done in light heavyweight uh, yet. I have still things to do. 